My name is Manuel Chavez. I'm a retired Air Force uh, Lieutenant Colonel. I got my degree in international relations at FIU under a senior program. I was senior because I was 57 years old. I was born on November 8, 1918 in a small town of Las Cruces, New Mexico. I was a member of uh, in the New Mexico National Guard and I was uh, working locally when we were called into active duty in September 16, 1940, in preparation for World War II. Well, I was, I was in flying school for almost a year until January of 43, when I graduated. And I was assigned to the Air Training Command at Boca Raton, Florida. And that was a secret radar base, and that's where I met my future wife, because she was a nurse. After the war, because of my background, training and in intelligence and language capability and the turmoil of political turmoil of Latin America, most of my assignments were in intelligence or military attache duty in Latin America. That included uh, several countries, Central America, uh, South America, and the Caribbean. I served in Guatemala for three years and witnessed the revolt in Guatemala that deposed the communist government of Arbenz. From 1960 to 64, when I was in Miami assigned or attached to CIA office here, that's when the Bay of Pigs and the missile crisis happened. We sent very key reports to Washington concerning both operations. After my tour in uh, with the CIA in Miami in 1964. I was sent to Panama, Caribbean, uh, the Southern Command uh, headquarters, and was involved in counterintelligence. My specialty was civic action, helping the villages regroup to gain confidence among the, the population in the rural villages. Throughout my entire military career, I had very interesting assignments, particularly in intelligence, and I loved being a spook. Military service probably is the greatest thing that ever happened to me because you create friendships that last a lifetime. The discipline, the, the, uh, the association uh, with people of knowledge, so it, to me, it made my life. And our family have all enjoyed military life because of the, of the, of the relationships that we established over the many years. I would say that my secret for a long life that I've enjoyed very happy is to marry a nurse, and especially a very special nurse. So we have been very congenial. We have been very loving to each other and very supportive. And we have to also credit God for blessing us with a good family and a long life together, which will be 70 years in July.